Hello, welcome to the lab. My name's Rocksteady, and this week on Extract All the Things, we'll be doing lavender. Now, lavender is an interesting one. It hails predominantly from the Mediterranean region. Its scientific name is lavandula, and it's from the mint family. And here we have two examples of lavender. We have the Goodwin Creek uh, cultivar, which is this uh, beautiful furry leafed cultivar. You know, the leaves are very, very soft, and also very aromatic. Uh, the leaves themselves uh, smell exactly like lavender. And we also have the vera uh, cultivar. The hairs on, on the vera cultivar are not as pronounced. And we can see through the microscope that the hairs are still there. They are just not as well developed as the Goodwin Creek cultivar. There's a wide range of different uh, physical characteristics associated with the different cultivars. The flowers of lavender can range from blue to purple to pink to even white. There's just a ton of variety. Lavender is grown mainly for its therapeutic benefits, but also its ornamental uh, benefits as well. You know, it's a pretty plant. You know, it looks good in someone's garden. Uh, and it just smells great. You know, it attracts lots of bees. The material that we're actually going to be extracting today is this pre-ground and dried uh, lavender powder. It smells just incredible, but uh, I'll take it out. Uh, we're gonna do a quick smell test, and I can already tell you, just from taking it out of the bag, that it is very, very potent smelling. Uh, you know, it just fills the room with lavender. It is uh, very aromatic. Let's do a quick smell test. Whew. Whew. So that is a very, very pleasant smell. You know, the smell can be described as, you know, very, floral, right? Like it's a very floral, flowery kind of smell. You know, it's very herbaceous and herbal as well. You know, it kind of has those earthy kind of undertones. And it's very sweet, like it's sinfully sweet. Like, oh my gosh. You know, I can see why this material has been used as a aromatherapy herb for centuries and eons, because it just smells amazing. This gets a solid and well-earned nine out of 10. See if the extracted material can uh, beat that, and I have a feeling it might. But yeah, I like that smell. Lavender is a, a great smell. We can expect a wide range of active and inactive compounds to be present in our extract. Uh, the compound that we're going to extract in abundance from lavender is a terpenoid known as linalool. Linalool is a classic terpenoid or terpene. Uh, it's very well studied and has a very long list of purported health benefits. On top of that, we can also expect to extract a, a wide range of other essential oils, as well as flavonoids and tannin. Uh, you know, lavender is a very, very rich bioactive plant. You know, lavender is a uh, ancient medicine for a reason. So to do this extraction, uh, we're gonna be using a soxlet. Uh, with ethanol. Uh, I love soxalate. It's a great technique. Lavender, however, is also a great target for steam distillation. And in the future, we will probably do uh, a steam distillation of lavender as well. I'm curious to see what we'll yield with uh, ethanol. If you like this kind of content, please comment, like, subscribe. You know, do all that YouTuber stuff. It really helps out the channel. But anyways, let's begin. Welcome to the bench. I've taken all the proper safety precautions. I'm wearing gloves, uh, my lab coat, safety glasses, and I've turned on ventilation in my workspace. In front of me, I have a thimble that we're going to load with our lavender biomass. We're gonna target 100 grams. We're gonna see if we can fit 100 grams in here. I've already written down the tear and all that good stuff. So we're zero that, and <laughs> that stuff is just so intense smelling. Mm. We're gonna start loading up our thimble, and it's not super, super dense either. Yeah, this stuff just makes a absolute mess. Um, it's really, really fine, and the powder just likes to uh, blow everywhere, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it smells great in here. Right? Last little bit. Looks like we got 86 grams total, which uh, ain't bad. Now we got our thimble. We got a beaker right here. It's already been teared out, all that good stuff. Uh, for this extraction, we are going to be using grain alcohol, uh, just because it's easy to work with, uh, fairly non-toxic. We got some uh, grain alcohol right here. This is 95% ethanol, 5% water. We're gonna weigh out uh, 300 grams of ethanol, 290, 300, 302. It's a little bit heavy. We're ready to proceed to our next stage of processing and begin uh, extraction of lavender. So in front of me, I've gotten uh, most of the soxalate stuff 
ready to go. We got our one liter boiling flask. Uh, we'll set that right there. We will fill it with our solvent. We got our boiling flask and our solvent ready. Then we have our sock slip body. I'm just gonna grease this up really quick. Now right, we got our ring stand. We got our main body. We uh, greased it up. Now I'm going to insert our thimble. And this is always a kind of a fiddly process. Um, you absolutely can break your sock slip main body here by uh, dropping this a little bit too overzealously and uh, throw some grease on our condenser. Stall that bad boy. Okay, now that's ready to go. Okay, we got everything set up. We got everything insulated and uh, yeah, we're just gonna send it and uh, let it extract for a little while. See what color it comes out as, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it's some sort of shade of green. So our sock slit has been extracting for uh, about an hour now and uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. Uh, it's flowing fairly quickly. Uh, you know, we already have a small amount of solution that has been collected in the uh, base of the sock slip body. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. So we had our first cycle. Uh, the tincture has turned to this kind of like greenish gold color. Uh, we can see that the tincture has some uh, ultraviolet activity. Sure enough, it turns this kind of green solution into uh, like an orange red color. It's kind of cool. Our run's going pretty good so far. We're nearing our third cycle in the sock slit and uh, we have this beautiful kind of greenish gold tincture. We are uh, nearing the top of the siphon tube, so any second now it's gonna cycle again. The main compound that we can expect to see in uh, you know, our lavender extract is uh, gonna be linalool. Uh, you know, it's been fairly widely studied and uh, is known to have a wide range of potentially therapeutic effects on uh, the human body. You know, it's known to be relaxing and calming and it's used heavily in uh, aromatherapy. On top of that, it has uh, antimicrobial qualities. A lot of plants produce these antimicrobial compounds because they need something to work as a defense mechanism, right? You know, if these plants, they didn't have these antimicrobial molecules, then they would have nothing to defend themselves against microbes, right? The microbes would just eat them all up. That's why we see a lot of plants produce you know, antimicrobial molecules simply because they need to create their own defense system, right? Linalool is also known as a, a sedative. Linalool is also known to be a potent anti-inflammatory. It's at our fifth cycle in the soxalate, and uh, I'm cooling the system down now. Shut off the mantle, and I'm gonna begin to uh, remove the insulation. We're going to do a quick gravity filtration of this material to remove any debris. And then uh, after that, we can proceed to solvent recovery and uh, we'll see what we made. Pretty cool. So our system is cooled down and we can begin to disassemble it. We had a uh, total runtime of about uh, eight hours. We are ready to filter our material uh, that we extracted. Uh, right here I have an Erlenmeyer flask with a powder funnel and uh, a coffee filter. Just a quick gravity filtration. This is uh, what we yielded. It's this beautiful greenish uh, color, kind of like olive green. So we completed our gravity filtration. We yielded a uh, beautiful kind of greenish black filtrate. Okay, so I shut the lights off. Uh, all I have left on is just a, uh, uh, just a filming light over here. But let's uh, see what happens. <laughs> Look at that. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got the rotavap all set up, and uh, yeah, we're ready to begin solving recovery on the material that we extracted. There we go. Just let that go for a little bit. Okay, so we completed our solvent recovery. It went pretty quick. So you can see what we yielded right here. It's kind of this resinous dark green oil. And uh, I can tell you that uh, just taking it off momentarily smelled amazing. So we're gonna take this over to the bench and uh, get a better look at it. All right, so we finished our solvent recovery. We yielded this uh, beautiful resinous kind of greenish black oil. That is a pretty intense smell. Yeah, it's very pleasant. Um, very, very sweet.
and like floral. Super sweet though. It's like what stands out the most. And then there's also this like robust kind of afternoon, which uh, I quite like. Overall, it's a good smell. I'd say this is a improvement over the raw material, and uh, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. It's right up there with chamomile. doesn't surpass chamomile, though. I still think chamomile is a more pleasant smell, but this stuff smells pretty magnificent. It really does. You know, lavender is a great uh, aromatherapy product for a reason. It smells amazing. It's a, it's a great sample to uh, add to the Extract All the Things library. Now I have the chore of getting it all out of the uh, flask. Uh, let's calculate our yields real quick. Oh, it's not bad. It's a 13 gram yield. So, yeah, there's 13 grams of uh, material in here. My starting material was 86 grams. Here you guys can see an example of just how smooth this oil is. Just very satisfying, very nice consistency. Very, very sticky. We did it. We successfully extracted lavender using a soxalate with ethanol. Yielded a fine black kind of resinous oil that is uh, green in thin films. It smells just insane. It is a uh, very, very good smell. It's uh, one of the better smelling extracts uh, we've made thus far in the series. Uh, it's like right up there with chamomile. We even yielded better than I anticipated we would have. I'm happy with the results. Thank you for spending time with me and my lab. And uh, yeah, if you like this kind of content, please comment, like, subscribe, support the channel. Coming up in the next couple of uh, weeks and months, I should have a lot more free time. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked to continue to build the channel. I got to give a shout out to uh, Gold Leaf Scientific. Go check them out at goldleaflabs.com. I also got to give a shout out to uh, future4200.com. Uh, go check them out. It's a great uh, community, great resource. I hope you guys had a good time and I will catch you in the next one.